Thank you. So we finally had about five days of no rain, so I can finally do another anthill casting. We got this guy here, fire ants. Uh, they're an invasive species uh, to the southern United States, and they take over people's yards, especially if you have dogs, they're a real pest. So we like to get rid of them in a little bit of a different way. So the next step that I do is I create a dam of sand around the anthill casting, and this keeps the alunum sort of inside the actual anthill itself, doesn't allow it to spill out onto the yard. And then this also creates head pressure, forcing the uh, aluminum down into the anthill further, giving me a more complete casting. What dross is, oh, I got some iron over there from my last melt burning. But uh, what dross is, is all of the impurities, like the aluminum oxide itself. Um, and that's just, aluminum oxide, I think, can actually be melted back down into aluminum, but you have to have like an industrial furnace in order to do that. So I just throw it away. And then, with melting ingots, you get almost, you get very little dross, I should say, you still get quite a bit, but it's not like you're having to scoop out dross all the time. The ground's still pretty wet. That's not what I was worried of. The last hand hill casting I did exploded. It was not very fun. Looks like it settled down. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. All right, I think I'm gonna melt down a little bit more metal just to finish off that base there. Got our star fruit tree over here starting to produce Some baby star fruits.
So now I'm not too worried about it bubbling on me anymore. That first pour should have dried out everything pretty nicely. This grease was awfully hot. So I'm just finishing out that base here, making sure everything's connected up. And then I can do finishing touches with my tongs. While it's still molten. Like, just sort of scoot the aluminum on the surface around here. All right, so <clears throat> what I do here is I let it cool down just enough to solidify. And then once it's solidified, I can take the hose to it and cool it down the rest of the way. So for digging this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dig a hole uh, to the side of it and then slowly work my way towards the actual casting itself. That way I don't damage the casting um, and then I can sort of figure out how big it is on the ground and whether or not I can just sort of wiggle it out or I have to be really careful with it and uh, slowly dig it out. So I usually start my hole a little bit further away than the casting that I think I should just in case it went a little bit more sideways than I expected. I just got to get through this first layer of roots. All right, we got a little bit of aluminum picking out, so I'm gonna start working my way in with the hose. Yeah, lucky this time to start here is super soft. Could probably See how hot this is, I'm a little warm still. You could probably wiggle this thing out pretty easily in a little bit, but it's still pretty hot, so I'm gonna cool it down some more. Yeah, so it looks like I didn't kill all the ants. I gotta be careful about where I put my hands now. They're angry. And fire ants are not the friendly ants. So, What I'm doing here is I'm checking for roots. So see this root is right now supporting the anthill. There's another one over here. And for the time being, I actually don't want to remove these roots uh, because they're stopping it from putting a lot of pressure at the bottom here and possibly breaking off uh, connections. Same thing with this root over here. Actually, this is, uh, no, that's a root, okay. Yeah, there used to be an old barn here. Uh, so I'm <laughs> worried about finding uh, old pieces of garbage. I thought this might have been a wire for a second. All right, feel, it's starting to feel pretty loose. Okay, it's got one more thing holding it in, I think. Oh, 
Oh, that might have been it. All right. Oops. Oh, yep, that was it. All right. Here's your casting. There's a little ant bite in my hand. Oh, and a few like ants bite in my hand. That's brain not smoky. All right. There she is. Let's go clean her up now. All right, I'm gonna clean it off a little bit right here. the rest of the way up the table. So right here are some of those ants uh, that turned the charcoal. Since they are burning without oxygen, um, they charcoalize and get preserved almost perfectly. So this is one of their soldier ants right here. And then down below him is one of their normal worker ants. And all these little black spots that sort of look like ants, those are ants as well. Um, but these are the most def defined ones that I could find right here. Uh, and some of my castings are almost perfectly preserved. Here's another guy, I think. But yeah, it's just pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, here's a little bunch of them. Pretty interesting. <laughs>